What's up everybody, I'm back! And yes, this is not Pokemon Shield, as the title suggests. This is Pokemon Sword. The reason this is Pokemon Sword and not Shield is, uh... I just... Spent... An entire weekend... At my mom's... Uh... My mom's place... Doing this! I, um... It was a three... Three day weekend of me literally doing nothing but scouting the Isle of Armor and essentially killing Scoropi. Now, uh, why was I doing that? Well, shiny hunting, obviously, and, uh, well, since. Finding shinies in Sword and Shield is not a guaranteed, but it is easier after you've battled 500 of a single species. Um, that's basically what I did. Now, for those of you who have been following this little series of mine, I, um, I don't have the shiny charm. That's why I'm playing both Sword and Shield, because I want to complete the, the shiny charm at least in one game. So that um, it'll be easier for me to find uh, shinies. And uh, well, I basically did... Uh, to pass the time, I basically did this. I basically just uh, killed, murdered, and for lack, of better, for lack of a better word, exterminated the Scoropia population on the Isle of Armor. I'm not sure that the... Uh, Inhabitants of that island are uh, grateful, but regardless, I battled almost 450 of these over the weekend. I still got about 50 left to go to uh, maximize my chances without the, chi the shiny charm, obviously. But uh, yeah, this is basically what I've been doing, and uh, now it's time to uh, go back. Now, destroying the uh, population of Scoropi is not the only thing that I did. On this uh, three-day weekend over at my mom's house, I also did something else, which you may be able to see on screen right now. You see this new layout with these blue corners and uh, these brownish things flying, and you can see the title down there at the bottom, the Fifty Shades of Geek over there that's uh, kind of scrolling. Yeah, I did that. That's basically what I did. And during the three-day weekend over at my mom's place, me and her, because she's a graphic designer, she uh, works with uh, Photoshop a lot, so she kind of gave me some pointers and we kind of sat down and uh, tried to figure out a nice-looking layout for uh, my, uh, my Let's Plays. Now, this layout is currently a template. It's currently a first draft. I'm not going to stick with it, even though I kind of I like the way that it looks. And I, I really enjoy this little uh, layout over here, but I mean, it's it's just the first draft, the first sketch, if you will. Uh, this is definitely going to change. I'm not going to stick with this. I'm probably going to make this thing look a lot better in the coming days, but for right now, this is what we have. And uh, I really think it looks good. I really hope you guys can see the game properly. I mean, I'm, I'm looking... Okay. Go ahead, take a break, sit down. I'm looking at the uh, the layout on my uh, on my computer, and uh, it looks pretty fine. For once, this little box here with uh, where you can see me, hello. For once, this thing isn't hiding any part of the game. Sorry, I'm pointing the wrong direction. This isn't really hiding anything from the uh, the game, not any of the dialogue or anything too significant. So I'm fine with it, and uh, I I'm uh, I'm guessing I'm going to stick with this. Get on your bike. And, uh, well, this is my first draft of the layout for uh, Sword and Shield. Obviously, this is going to change. Obviously, I'm going to add some details to it, especially when I'm going to start shiny hunting, which I'm very excited to start getting into. But, for right now, let's do what I was about to do before I went to the uh, weekend. Now, if you guys have watched my last episode, I, um... I was in the uh, the semi-finals of the gym challenge and there was some uh, trouble with the uh, Rose Tower and stuff. 
And uh, I wanted to do another uh, episode before I went to my mom's uh, place for the weekend. I just didn't really have time f uh, to do that. And I did say in the previous episode that I was going to do another one. Ended up not happening, but all that is behind us. Now, I've already been through this part of the game, which is why, again, I'm not reading any of this. Uh, I'm just leaving it on screen for you guys to uh, maybe pause and read it if you're interested, but... I managed to record about two minutes of what's happening now. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna use a chandelier. No, it's my chandelier. He uses a Durant. Yeah, my bad. So uh, yeah, this is this is about as far as I got uh, last time, last week, I should say. I got to the point where um, I'm challenged by this guy. And then my mom just uh, came to my place and uh, we had to go. So uh, I stopped the recording then and there. So yeah, I mean, this shouldn't really be too hard. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of the uh, most of these guys use steel types, which... I'm perfectly capable of handling on my own because I've got this overpowered chandelier. I have Surfetched, Hitmonlee, and uh, I'm also trying to train up this Excadrill. I'm gonna see uh, how good it's going to uh, to go. I wanna, see, I wanna just, even though I can pretty much sweep all of these guys with one Pokemon, I wanna give her a lot of Pokemon uh, a fair shot. So. Uh, here is where we are going. This is actually one of my favorite parts of this game because it, it's it kind of hints at much deeper storytelling with um, with this game. Unfortunately, you only notice it once you get to the top, and it's gonna take a while. I I just realized I uh, probably should I, I made a mistake. I probably should have put. Chandelure at the front Because now I believe every couple of floors we're going to be challenged by these guys. Yeah And uh, I'm I can't remember if they're all double battles. Maybe some of their some of them are double battles some of them are uh, single battles, but yeah pretty much every floor Yep, it's a double battle this time Every floor we're going to be challenged by uh, these Marco Cosmos um, people. And Hop uses a double. A normal type against two steel types. Well, at least uh, Mawal helped us a lot. But, I mean, that's pretty much all the health that this Mawile is going to help. I'm going to put him back. And yes, it's a him. Look at the uh, indicators there. And I'm going to send out Chandelure. I really hope I, I, give it, I get a chance to change up the roster. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Oh, because it was a crit. How obvious. Well, I guess I can't... Uh... I wonder if overheat attacks multiple uh, opponents at once. Hold on, let me just check. Nope, it just attacks the uh, the one in front of me. I was hoping for that because I wanted to uh, use it on both of uh, both these guys, but yeah, you get what you get, I suppose. Better save overheat for uh, a particularly challenging opponent. We're probably going to uh, sweep it with overheat. Oh no, no! Sheesh! Thank you! See? Being over leveled does help! I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the fun. I can't remember for sure, but I think right now I need to find this switch to uh, reactivate the elevator. I'm gonna use that to. Um, to switch Chandelure to the front of the, uh, the the pack here. 
All right. Yes, yes, yes. Keep, keep talking, keep talking. Okay, so Hop heals. Why are these guys playing fair? I never understood that. Like, why? So yeah, it seems like I can't pause to uh, reshuffle my. Uh, my guys so yeah they came from this door now so which means the next floor they're gonna come from the other door got it I love how the music just doesn't change throughout this entire section Meh. Okay, now Mama Mai Mawa is gonna do her thing, intimidate, scare her these opponents. Obviously, her Mawa is going to do the same. Under normal circumstances, since I probably would have used uh, Hitmon Lee, but I mean, he's neutral to. Um, to Bronzong because of the Steel Psychic, and he's also neutral to uh, Mawal because of the uh, Steel Fairy, so it really wouldn't have helped us much. Thank you! Thank you again! Now I could just, you know, let her burn and just stall this until I, uh, until she she faints but I don't feel like doing it you know now that I think about it I, I suddenly realized that I probably should have used shadow ball on Bronzong because uh, yeah just you know to save the uh, the flamethrower uh, for later, in case we, uh... Then again, I mean... We get to heal our Pokémon every floor, so it really doesn't matter. It's not much of a challenge. Alright, there goes Clank. I believe Drill Run is a one-hit KO. Nope, it isn't. So what is the one-hit... KO for ground type. Is it horn drill? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's horn drill. It's a one hit KO with 30% accuracy. Really good move, but I don't know. That accuracy is just. It's too risky. I mean, I. I, I tend to have really good luck with one hit KOs. Every once in a while, I mean, I, back in Emerald, I used to have a lot of luck with uh, my Groudon, who knew uh, Fisher. I believe, I believe I did have some luck with Drill Run with my, um, my Rhydon, and let's go Pikachu. What else? Oh, back, all, all the way back in, uh, in Red, my uh, Kingler almost always used to hit Guillotine, which is also a... Uh, a one hit KO, but. Yeah, I don't know. One hit KOs are still risky. I don't, I don't know if I'm willing to uh, risk it. I don't know what she's doing with that, with her hand over there, but it's kind of funny. Okay, both of these are ground and steel. Which, I mean, I guess it's good, but... I don't know. Now... Hold on. All of these moves are physical.
Yeah, all these moves are physical. So, I mean, I guess, again, my best chance is, uh... Uh, Chandelure. Now, ground doesn't resist fire. However, ground is super effective against fire. Hold on. Oh! Well, what do you know? See, I was aiming for a non-physical move because I was afraid that, um... Uh... Stunfisk might have, uh, iron barbs, which apparently it doesn't, which is good for me, but, again, I didn't want to go for a fire type because it's weak to ground, which both of these happen to be. Come on, come to think of it, why is, um, why is Kufant and Kaparaja? Not part ground. I mean, they're Indian war elephants, but they're also digging instruments. For example, uh, Kufant is, I mean, it's a spade, or rather a cup, digging the ground. And Kaparaja, in addition to being a, a war elephant, it's also an excavator. So, uh... Yeah, I, I think they should be part ground. Nah, I mean, that's just my, uh... My opinion, I suppose. My opinion doesn't matter, does it? Boo! Okay, so I think this was the final floor. Now, uh, I can't remember if we have to fight Oleana, or is that later? I know we, we're not going to battle uh, the chairman right now. He's just going to have a, a conversation with Leon. I don't really think I can skip this part, but I want you guys to... Uh, if you haven't played this game ever, I want you guys to uh, to be able to watch this, because it's, it's a really interesting conversation. Oh, yeah, so I think we do have to battle Oleana. Oh, was it Oleana or Olina? I was never sure about that. You know, when I first played this game, I thought she was actually the villain. The uh, villainous mastermind behind everything. I mean, look at that face! Just look at her! Again, I'm gonna give you guys a better um, angle. Oh yeah, so we do have to battle Oleana. I'm gonna call her Oleana. I don't think Olina is a good... Uh... Okay, so she uses Frost Lats, which is good for us because we have a Mawile. I, don't, I can't remember if she Dynamaxes her Pokemon, but... Um... Okay, Iron Head is super effective. Okay, she uses Will-O-Wisp. And yes, it is, it is a she because Frostless is always female. Only a female Snoron can evolve into a Frostless. Just in case you were uh, unaware of that. Funny, it's two Japanese yokais fighting each other. I mean, I, I can't really remember what's the name of these... I mean, it always slips my mind, but I think, I think Frostlass is based off the Yuki Ona, and I can't remember which, which one is Mawile based, hold on. This is how much, I, uh, this is how much I don't care about this battle. I'm literally looking stuff up during the, uh, during the battle. And I mean, these battles do tend to go on for a while. Did I miss? How? It's a... It's a 100% accuracy. Never mind. Wow. See, this is what happens when you don't pay attention, kids. Anyways. 
For a second there I thought of using a Hitmonlee, but then I remembered that you that Frostlass is also a ghost type, so she would be immune to fighting type moves. Ghost Ace is a very good type combination as I think about it. I mean I think Frostlass is the only is the only ghost and ice type in the entire game. Again, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Milotic. I know which one to use. Surfetched. Futakuchiona. That's what uh, Mawile is based on. Futakuchiona, and I believe Mawile is the Yuki Ona. Oops. Arceus for uh, um, for Bobopedia, am I right? Serena. I mean, I think I can pretty much stay with. Um, I think I can stay with. Surface because it has. Uh, Fury Cutter. You know what? Just because I love Fury Cutter, I'm gonna use it. I don't think I've used it a lot during these uh, Let's Play videos. Yes, Frostlass is the uh, Yukiona. Totally called it. Anyways, Fury Cutter. Swish! Wow, that almost was an Oko. Oh no, it's a fight. It's a flying type move. Okay, now, if she uses a full restore, it doesn't matter, because Fury Cutter gets stronger the more you use it. And she didn't heal, which is kind of weird to me. Feels like she would, but she didn't. It feels like, I mean, she's a pretty uh, significant boss character in this game, so feels like she would have, you, she would have um, healed. Okay, um, I'm gonna give Excadrill a shot, I mean, or maybe, I don't know, Salazel is fire and poison, weak to both, four times weak to ground, one time weak to psychic, but super effective on, um, and steel. So I guess using Escadrill is a bit risky at this point. But I mean, let's give it a shot. Excadrill! Okay, which one is stronger? I don't think Excadrill has the speed to out to outrun uh, Salazel. But um, just to play it safe, I'm gonna use Dig. Okay. Yes. Now, using Dig allows me to avoid one of her attacks. Like this Incinerate, for example. Yes! It's a one-hit KO! Aced it! When you're gonna give give it to Oliana, she's got a very diverse team. Well, just because I used Excadrill on Salandit, I'm gonna use uh, Bronzong for um, Garboder. A, it's immune to poison, and B, it's super effective on uh, on poison. 
Kabuki! I'm really gonna do one of these, uh, another one of these, um, Pokemon impression videos. I haven't done those in such a long time. And I just finished the black and white series of the anime, so there's no excuse not to do that. Man, she, this woman is evil to her core. Okay, I think I just noticed that. Gigantamax Garboder doesn't have feet or legs. I mean, it's basically like... Kind of like Grimer and Muck. It's a, it's a Grimer looking Garboder. Would have been nice if I had a Gigantamax Pokemon to use against her, but I don't, so I'm just gonna have to face Garboder like that. Okay, Rockfall is good. Rockfall is good. But it's not super effective. And I believe Steel types don't feel the uh, effects of a Sandstorm, while Poison types do. So, like I said again, it's good. Okay, okay, we didn't knock it out. It wasn't an Oko, but... Okay, so basically by setting up a Sandstorm, the, she kind of shot herself in the foot. Well, pretty sure that's that. Max Mindstorm. There goes Garboder. So yeah, I, mean, I think my team performed pretty well, despite the overwhelming differences in levels. We did, we did good. That's nice. That's a, that's a good, uh, that's a good. I'm defeated face. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to battle her again later in the game, but like I said, it's later in the game. We don't need to talk about it right now. This is inexcusable! It's a good thing she didn't say unacceptable because then I wouldn't have a party over here. Unacceptable! Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's not, that, let's not, let's not do that right now. Let's not do the lemon grub voice. Anyways. I think now this is where it cuts to the uh, conversation with uh, Leon and the chairman. And, and I'm going to put my controllers to the side because I don't think I can even skip this part. Because it's uh, kind of an automated scene. Uh, oh no, it's not. Oh, so it's even better. I, I like it already. And I love that they actually d didn't do it... Um, with the game, you know, graphics. I, I love that this whole section is just um, artwork. No, uh, no movement, no motion. It's a beautiful uh, shot of wind in, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder what are all these mountains over there in the background.
really enjoyed this part of the uh I mean even though it's just two characters having a conversation with each other it's I think it's a pretty deep moment between these two guys it shows the uh the different uh points of view that both of these guys have now you got to acknowledge the stupidity of these two kids that just battled a bunch of people just to get to the top of the tower just because the guy's brother was late for dinner or something like that. But anyways, I mean, he pretty much forgave them, so... It's all good, I suppose. And I mean, I, when you really think about it, I don't know if you guys have played this game or not, but... When you really think about it, the chairman is kind of like... Kind of like Thanos. I mean, you can see that he's got good intentions. It's just his approach and how he does what he does is completely the wrong way. But he does... I mean, he does do it for, uh, for his people, which is uh, ultimately a good thing. His uh, side piece, Oleana, isn't so much of a good person, I would say. She's just way too committed for to her uh, job. Over the weekend, while I was at my mom's place, we watched the uh, first season of Umbrella Academy, and Oleana is pretty much like Cha-Cha in, uh, in that series. By the way, we did start season two, but, I mean, we only watched a couple of episodes, maybe three. And uh, we kind of decided that we we're going to watch it together. So uh, I am planning on reviewing Season 2 eventually, but not anytime soon. Because, you know, a promise is a promise. We promised we would watch these episodes together. And that I wouldn't, you know, skip ahead to the uh, the end. And, uh, well, that's, uh, that's that. I can't watch any new episodes of uh, Umbrella Academy un unless my mom is watching it with me. That sounds a bit pathetic, but... Hey, like I said, a promise is a promise. Because normally what would happen is I watch a TV show, decide if it's good enough for my mom to like it, because she's very, very picky. So, and then we watch it together, and I, uh... I get to enjoy her first reactions to it. And kind of... Obviously I'm not spoiling anything, but I'm just... Look at this part, look at this part, man. Look at this guy, look at him, look at what he's done, you know. It's, it's kind of fun, I don't know. But enough about the Umbrella Academy, let's talk about... You know what? It's weird to me that there isn't an Umbrella Pokemon, now that I think about it. An Umbrella Pokemon could look kind of, uh... I mean, just like any Pokemon, it could look... Pretty goofy. But it could also, uh, it could also, uh, be pretty, uh, nice, as the kids say these days. So yeah, the, um, Rose Tower ended pretty quickly. I honestly thought this section was going to take long. Now I, I mean, I kind of need to, uh, sorry, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. I guess I kind of need to find a way to, uh, fill the last, uh, 10 minutes of this episode because like I said again I wasn't planning on finishing this episode so quickly maybe I should just work on my team a little bit I'm gonna have the Dene back because it was very useful now I have I mean if we're going for this for the uh, the finals I think I'd much rather have a team that is um, dual type and also cover as many different types as I possibly can. So, let's see. The Dene is 
Electric Fairy. Lucario is fighting in steel, which is why I'm replacing it with uh, Hitman Lee. Gyarados. Water Flying. Chandelure, Fire, and Ghost. I don't want to have too many overlapping uh, types here. But I guess it's impossible now. Hold on. What are the... Um I mean... I guess during the finals I'm going to battle... Alistair? Again, I think. So having Gyarados and uh, Chandelure are uh, always a good choice. What's his? Yeah, I mean, I, th I believe he uses Gengar as his Gigantamax. So, I mean, it's it's always a good thing to have uh, Bronzong here, even though it's it's weak to Ghost, but it's super effective on poison okay since we're already in uh, route 10 let's just do some uh, let's, I think we should just do some grinding if we're already here I put Gyarados on the front because I want to uh, level it up a bit the only problem is, though, Route 10 is primarily... Oh! Route 10 is primarily filled with ice types. Now, water resists ice. <coughs> Sorry. But flying is weak to it, so... Uh... Okay, you know what? Let's just hydro pump this bear tick. And just... Uh... Okay, not gonna happen now. Maybe now. No need for you to rest. Good. Yeah, I can see where this is going. Actually, you know what? No. I mean, I want to train Lucario as well, and, and I want to train Bronzong. See? That was a one-hit KO move. And it didn't work, because, you know, one-hit KO moves have really bad accuracy. That's why they're called one-hit KO. I mean... Seven out of ten times you're gonna miss, but on the three times you're actually going to hit, uh, you're gonna win. Now, if we just uh, hold on, gotta actually, you know what? Let's put Bronzong in uh, in first place and use Heavy Slam on this Nova. I don't know what Snover's exact weight is, but I'm willing to guess that's definitely significantly less than Bronzong. Another Snover, let's just... Um... And I believe it's a male Snover because of the brown... Uh... Bottom half, yep. Totally nailed it. Oi! <coughs> don't you just hate it when they don't come out? Ugh. 
Okay, I've got five more minutes. Sneeze all over there. You know what? Let's put Lucario back in first place and try to find a Dorala uh, Dorala Duraladon, sorry. That's a female. Snover because of the uh, the white bottom half. Okay, turn around. Try to avoid the sneasel. Mr. Mime isn't going to bother me because it's just wanna dance. Now where can I find a Dorala look at that, Mr. Mime. Did I not battle this guy? I'm confused. Well, whatever, man. I mean, as long as I get to uh, to train my Pokemon, I don't care. Yeah, I think Meteor Mesh should do the trick. I mean, we're 21 levels above it, so. Play doll? Well, I mean, I, I can use Gyarados on this one. I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use Crunch because it has the higher uh, damage. Intimidate! Aquatail has less than a hundred accuracy and uh, with um, Gyarados's low HP, I can't really take that chance right now. One second. Okay, I guess I need to level up Gyarados once, and then I can just give it a rare candy that I remember finding at the beginning of this episode. There, see, a, a rare candy. I don't think I have any XP candy. Nope. So yeah, giving him a rare candy right now. Oh, I didn't battle this guy? Well, that's right. I remember, I remember this guy. Don't really remember the other one. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure close combat is going to uh, Oko. Because it's freaking close combat. Is close combat the pow the most powerful non-signature move fighting type attack? I think I messed up that question. I would have imagined Steelix would have more... Uh, more XP yield. Mudsdale. I mean, it's not risky to use Gyarados because Mudsdale is ridiculously slow. But, I mean, again, I'm worried about. Uh, I'm worried about that accuracy thing. It has own tempo. 
which is good for me because I can't remember what the other uh, ability is, but it's that ability where... Uh... No! The ability that whenever it, it gets attacked, it gets stronger, or rather more defensive. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Bronzong has Levitate, which is immune to, uh, to ground-type moves. Oh, I, I don't know how I missed that. Okay, let's just re revive Gyarados. Yeah, that does nothing. What? Uh, well, since I'm not really in, any, in a hurry, I can just give Gyarados the Super Potion and let the hail do its job. that and I'm pretty sure we just ran out of time for this episode now I'm gonna do some grinding off screen I'm gonna train Gyarados to a certain point I think I also didn't battle this guy nope I did didn't battle this guy apparently so yeah I'm just gonna do some grind work on Gyarados off screen obviously as I mentioned and um See you guys in the next episode, which will most likely be recorded tomorrow. Not sure when it's going to uh, be uploaded, but I'm definitely going to record it tomorrow. See you guys then. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.